When Neil deGrasse Tyson shared information about the remarkable discovery made by India, it attracted everyone's attention. India aimed to land on the south pole of the moon to verify the presence of water in the craters. This was no ordinary astronomical discovery. Rather, it was a finding that changed our understanding of Earth's satellites. To understand what India discovered and why it is causing so much interest in the cosmos, it is important to go back to Russia's first contact with the moon. In the records of space exploration, there are moments that leave a lasting mark on our collective mind. One such milestone occurred in early 1996, when the world witnessed the successful landing of the Luna 9 mission, a Russian space mission that became the first to achieve a soft landing on the moon. Not only did it land safely, but it also sent back stunning panoramic images of our natural satellites. Luna 9 was no ordinary spacecraft. Its design was innovative and strategic, weighing 99 kilograms and with a diameter of 58 centimeters. This spacecraft was equipped with four retractable legs that were deployed once Luna 9 landed safely. These pedals had a dual function once deployed. First, their purpose was to stabilize the spacecraft, ensuring that it remained upright. Second, their deployment was intended to reveal the crucial instruments the spacecraft was carrying. The spacecraft was equipped with a variety of high-tech equipment, including a radio communication system, a set of solid-state detectors to measure radiation, and a thermal control system to manage temperature fluctuations. One of the most captivating instruments was its television camera, which was strategically mounted on a platform with the ability to rotate and scan the vast lunar horizon. When Luna 9 began operations, the lunar views it captured were absolutely mesmerizing. These images show a terrain full of contrasts, with rugged craters alongside rolling hills and undulating mountains. Undisturbed by human activity, these images were so mesmerizing that the Joe Drill Bank Observatory in England received them and they soon made headlines in the Daily Express. However, Luna 9's mission was not limited to image capture. The spacecraft embarked on crucial scientific investigations and meticulously recorded the lunar temperature, documenting extremes ranging from a frigid negative 153 degrees Celsius at night to a scorching 123 degrees Celsius during the day. In addition, it revealed the virtually non-existent lunar atmosphere with pressure that was one millionth of what we experience on Earth. Luna 9 not only limited itself to observation, but interacted directly with the lunar surface, conducting a basic soil mechanics experiment. In this experiment, Luna 9 exerted pressure on the lunar regolith, and the results were very enlightening. The lunar regolith showed a resistance of at least 0.4 kilograms per square centimeter. This fundamental finding indicated that the lunar surface was solid enough to support the weight of future landers and even rovers. However, despite its significant accomplishments, the Luna 9 mission came to an end after a relatively brief period of approximately three days on the moon. This was due to the spacecraft's batteries running down, but during its time on the moon, it managed to transmit a total of eight fascinating images and several batches of data of great scientific value. Luna 9 led the way for future lunar exploration and was followed by the Luna 13 mission which landed on the moon on December 24th of the same year. This mission continued the legacy of Luna 9, conducting similar experiments and deepening research on the moon. Recently, the world witnessed a milestone in space exploration when India opened a new chapter with its Chandrayaan-3 mission. This mission was not only significant for India, but also for future global lunar exploration efforts, a region that has long been shrouded in mystery particularly the Lunar South Pole, which promised important scientific discoveries, but also presented complex challenges. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was an undertaking of complex design and ambition, consisting of three components, each dedicated to distinct but interconnected tasks. The orbiter, equipped with eight scientific instruments, was tasked with observing and analyzing the lunar surface and atmosphere from a circular orbit located about 100 kilometers above the moon. Accompanying the orbiter was a lander named Vikram in honor of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the visionary founder of the Indian Space Research Organization, also known as ISRO. 
Vikram was not only a symbolic tribute, but a critical component equipped with four essential instruments to record data on temperature variations, seismic activities, plasma density, and lunar surface composition. Last but not least was Pragyan, a rover whose name is derived from the Sanskrit word meaning wisdom. In keeping with its name, Pragyan was a vehicle of knowledge on wheels, and as it traversed the lunar surface, its two instruments worked tirelessly to uncover details about the mineralogy and elemental composition of the soil. The journey to the moon began on July 14, 2023 at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota, India, when the trusty launch vehicle, known as the PSLV rocket, carried Chandrayaan-3 on its historic maiden voyage. However, this journey was not a direct one. Instead, the spacecraft performed a delicate dance around the Earth for a week, waiting for the right moment and gaining momentum. On July 21, 2023, Chandrayaan-3 began the next phase of its journey. It performed an injection maneuver calculated to be captured by lunar gravity, which put it into an elliptical orbit around our natural satellites. But the ISR team had not finished fine-tuning its trajectory. Over the next few weeks, they performed a series of orbit raising and lowering maneuvers with meticulous precision. Finally, they succeeded in positioning Chandrayaan-3 in an optimal circular orbit, located about 100 kilometers from the lunar surface by August 19, 2023. After this achievement, attention turned to Vikram's descent and Pragyan's lunar expedition. Following the meticulous orbital dance of the Chandrayaan-3 orbiter, on August 23, 2023, came the moment when lander Vikram ventured on his daring descent toward the lunar South Pole. Neil deGrasse Tyson expressed his enthusiasm and optimism for the Chandrayaan-2 mission and shared his thoughts with the world, stressing that the mission was no mean feat. India joined a select group of nations by landing on the moon becoming the fourth nation to do so after the United States, Russia, and China. Its goal was to lead the exploration of the moon's south polar region, which raised expectations around the world. However, space exploration is fraught with uncertainties, and the Chandrayaan-2 mission faced a heartbreaking moment when its lander lost communication with Earth during the critical descent phase, resulting in an impact on the moon. Despite the disappointment shared by India and the world, Tyson's words provided encouragement and motivation by pointing out that space adventures are inherently challenging, and that setbacks do not mean the end, but a spur to try again with renewed vigor. In 2023, India was ready to rewrite its lunar history, drawing on the lessons of the past and its unwavering spirit. The country launched the Chandrayaan-3 mission, and this time, the stars aligned in its favor. India achieved what it had failed to achieve four years earlier, a successful landing near the moon's elusive and unexplored South Pole. When news of this achievement spread, Tyson was among the first to praise India's tenacity and celebrate its accomplishments. He said, This success represents not only a victory for India, but also a significant advance for scientific curiosity and global progress. India secured a prominent place in lunar exploration and contributed to global scientific knowledge. But what makes the moon's South Pole so special? Neil deGrasse Tyson, with his ability to simplify complex scientific concepts, shed light on the importance of this lunar region. The moon's South Pole is a veritable gold mine for researchers, as it harbors craters that, mirrored in perpetual shadow, may contain water ice. This ice is a vital resource for life and a potential source of rocket fuel. In addition, there are peaks that enjoy constant exposure to sunlight, making them ideal locations for solar energy collection. Beyond these practical resources, the ancient rocks of the South Pole also promise to be an invaluable source of knowledge, providing clues to the shared history of the Moon and Earth. The Indian Chandrayaan-3 mission's journey to the moon's south pole had as its cornerstone its dedication to investigating the presence and distribution of water and other crucial substances on the moon, especially in the vicinity of its south pole. This made this region particularly fascinating, as it harbored craters permanently obscured by sunlight, where it is believed water ice could be hidden, a treasure trove for future human expeditions and settlement. Let us know what you think in the comments box. 
If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe.